I, I know it's the same situation as the other day, but you guys get killed on the boards tonight. You've got to be sitting there thinking you could help. Yeah, of course, man. I mean, it's, it's painful to watch that for me. Because, I mean, I know I can, I can go out to help my teammates and win. I'm just, all, all I'm doing right now is just cheering for my teammates from the bench. What did you think of, I don't know if you heard it, but what did you think of the fans chanting for you to get in the game? I actually did hear it, yes. The fans were, uh, I think, chanting for, we want NS, you need that. I'm sorry, we want Ken or you need Ken or something. I mean, I, first of all, I want to appreciate the bro, 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 and that's it. Yeah, yep, think appreciate it, brother. Yeah, I want to appreciate the Nets fans for uh, cheering like that because I mean, I, mean, I want to go out there play basketball, but um, and they want to see me out there. I mean, but I guess you know, it's the moment we have to. You, you put. put what did you say? I did, man. That, that, that's love, you know, because they they paying money to come watch us and they just not put me out there. I mean, uh, it just, they show me love, I, I show them love, you know, it's, I understand they are not, I mean, I'm not playing for them, but they, they, they show them love, so I'm, I gotta respect them. How do you explain, I mean, I terrific success against the Nets, how do you explain the coach's decision to play you tonight? He said he, in the second half, he didn't think it was fair to play you because you were on the bench. See me, did she go back there? She goes. Yeah, last week. Alright, you know, that's what the coach said. I mean, you gotta respect the coach. I respect the coach. Co coach like finally, he kind of he kind of gave us an explanation as to why he's not playing you, like a different kind. He said he's trying to develop a certain playing style, and I guess you don't fit that playing style. Did he relay any type of message like this? To you? I mean, I I wish that he communicate with me, you know, but I'm I, I'm seeing every day, but he has not said a word to me. But I wish. I mean, I'm we are grown women. We are grown men. You know, just people just come up to me and say, oh, you're not feeling our whatever. You know, you're not feeling what we're doing. So I'm just like, okay, coach. I'm just gonna practice and try to get better and try to make my teammates better. But uh, he has not communicated with me about anything yet. And it's you're you're eventually gonna end up playing elsewhere this season. It's pretty clear. Where would you like to play? <laughs> That's a weird question, man. I'm, I said it from the day one, man. I love New York. You know, I love the fans in here and everything. It would be very, yeah, it'd be very tough for, for me to leave because I still want to play for New York, man. Like, people don't understand the love of New York I have in my heart. If they would know, they would retire my jersey right now. I love New York. I love the fans. I love the atmosphere here. But uh, it's very tough for me to see my teammates out there and uh, uh, getting getting not wins and I, I know I can help them but I, they just not let me help it's pretty tough there's there's two teams in New York would you would you like to play for the Nets I don't want to answer that question what kind of question is that man that's a direct question I mean there's a lot of teams that could use your offensive rebounding and especially Western Conference teams that got to battle with bigs like Steven Adams right. Nurkic Jokic um, and there's teams where you could be a valuable playoff contributor. That's why I ask, where would you like to play? Because if you're not going to play in New York, you got to play somewhere. Where would you like to go if it's on New York? Of course, of course, that's definitely true. But I'm just going to let my agent handle that situation. But I, I, in the end, I want to play basketball. Hey, can you talk about your uh, the political situation at home? You know, how do you, you know, are you comfortable with getting things worked out? You know. Uh, well, I mean, I, mean, I think I, I said it enough uh, with all the media stuff. Uh, I did enough from media about that conversation, but I think, you know, it just the one thing about that situation, man, the, the dude, uh, the president of Turkey is pretty crazy. And uh, I mean, he's uh, I mean, using his power to maybe use human rights and freedom and democracy. So that's why, I mean, I have a platform and not because I play in the NBA. So I'm trying to use my, uh, I'm trying to use my platform to be, try to be the worst of all the innocent people in Turkey. So, I mean, that's a very serious conversation, and people are just keep asking me, do you get anything? Are you crazy? Or this is going to affect your maybe career or life. Do you get anything? No, I don't regret anything, man. I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing because I'm doing it for the innocent people. Do you feel as though um, people here in America are supporting you? Is A lot. Building? I mean, I cannot thank to all the fans, all because I've been getting you know, calls, text messages, not just from fans, from all over the league, from the refs, from the other team players, from our team, and everybody. I cannot thank him enough that how much they support him, how much they should show us support. So that means a lot to me. Do you expect the DNPs to continue? Hmm? Do you expect the DNPs to continue going forward? I mean, I'm, I'm ready, man. 
You know, I, I don't care what they're doing, but I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to roll. You know, I could have yet. I mean, I could have go out there and help my teammates today. But I, and I probably will, I mean, try to get, get a win. But I'm, I'm ready. Whenever they put me in, I'm ready to go. But, um, you know, I just, just go out and... With all the talk about you being old at 26, and you're not playing and they're calling you old, are you starting to feel old at all? I I mean, it's probably mental. I, I mean, I... I I mean, they just keep calling me old and old, but I'm, like I said, even like I was talking to my team yesterday, I'm 26 years old, man. It's, it's not like I'm 34, 35, and it's, I'm about to retire next year. You know, I'm fresh, I got fresh legs, I'm ready to go and roll. But um, I guess I'm old in their eyes. And it's basketball is a sanctuary, so with not playing with what's going on at home in Turkey, does that make it doubly tough for you right now, just day to day, maintaining fun? Of course, man, on the court, off the court, is, I'm having I'm a pretty tough. Uh, last few weeks, but I mean, I'm, I mean, all I can do right now is just do what I love to do, play basketball, but it's not happening, you know, I'm just right now, I'm just, uh, well, I think all I, can, all, all I can do just right now, pray, you know, I can't do anything else. Maybe it's a little bit more, I mean, it, maybe it doesn't have much, much impact on day to day, but do you think the shift in style in the NBA toward guard play and three pointers, does that affect you a little bit? Mm, I mean, I mean, of course the league is changing and you got to change with the league, but you know, I mean, I can get almost 20 and 10 every night. Do you, you have problems now with like, this lack of communication? I mean, now more than anything, more than playing, it's just, just the fact that they're not saying what's I just going. want an answer. That's all I want. That's it. Did you, you average 23 points or 13 rebounds the first three games against this team. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Did you feel like, shit, man, like, I'm pretty good against this team? You know team. what? Uh, so I was talking to one of my teammates that I couldn't get 30 30 tonight. I was joking. But uh, I guess they don't want me to get 30 30. Thanks, fellas.